Valerie, and I would like to confirm that modeling for artists is a lot harder than it looks. While I was writing Unvarnished, I hoped to have the opportunity of sitting live to an artist to have an idea of what that experience was like, and that opportunity didn't come up. I wrote about the experience without having it. I drew on times that I've had to freeze on stage, or doing mannequin type things, ballet things, you know, those experiences of, of my nose itches and I can't move kind of a thing. And they were always really short. Well, just recently, the opportunity has finally come up to actually have this experience through Mistress Bones Portrait Playhouse. Now, that very evocative name is for a group of people that get together at bars in Chicagoland. They have a monthly theme and they get cosplayers to come out and model live for the artists. And we have people who are established, very experienced artists, we have people who are just starting, we have everything in between. It's a very friendly atmosphere, it's very creative, it's a lot of fun to be around these people. I highly recommend it if you're in the area, if you're interested in cosplay, if you're interested in drawing, come out and give it a try. I have now done uh, three of the monthly themes. The first one was Star Wars, which is what brought it to my attention. A friend of mine, Amanda from AA Cosplay, said, hey, this thing is going on, you, want, you, sh you should take your red costume out. So I did. And I learned some things that night, and one of them is holding a blaster out like this for 10 minutes is really, really hard. Now, you will never catch me in a slowly cooling tub of water for hours. I will say something, trust me. Lizzie didn't say anything, that's her right. I'll say something if that ever happens. I'm unlikely to be in that position. I have been in the position of having my leg fall asleep while posed as Titania for 25 minutes and I turn and had my hip tilted a little bit and when the 25 minutes was called and I went to get up, I couldn't feel my leg. In talking about, as I do in the script, what is for Lizzie the experience of sitting for the first time to Walter Deverell for Twelfth Night and her observations about what's going on around her and how she feels outside of this conversation that's going on and the work that's happening and that's something that I feel like I did kind of get right because you're sort of in your own little world up there. At Mr. Bones, we're on a little stage. It's usually a stage where a band plays in the bar and there's very bright lights set up so that the artists can see us. And you can't really see what's going on out there very well. You can hear the conversations because you're quite close to the artists. Every once in a while you can't help tossing in a comment, but mostly you just kind of zone out and go into your own little world and it's funny I you know I, I remember a comment when I was posing as Ray with the blaster having somebody talking about how long my arm was it wasn't one of the artists it was somebody who was observing because the bar is open anybody can walk in and observe what's going on and that's really interesting too it's it's a public event there is something about it I think that feels a little bit like maybe the early days of the Prairie Raphaelites when they would get together and read poetry to each other and stay up half the night and you get to the bar, you get a drink, you get your sketchbook out, you talk to people and there's photography going on as well and it's just this bubbling stew of creative geeky people that I love. Oh! I forgot! I forgot that sometimes people give you art. The very first night that I went, when I was Rey on a Star Wars night, uh, there's an artist named Colleen Kelly who gave me this piece from the last uh, pose, which was the, the competition. This is the very first time that someone has given me something that I posed for, that they drew from me. This was also when I discovered that if I turn my lightsaber on and don't move for 20 minutes, it keeps humming and humming and humming. I have gone and drawn one night. I'm going to try and do more of it. Um, the results were mixed. I haven't drawn anything seriously in a long, long time and it showed. But I had a great time. And it was 
an interesting challenge because I've never drawn from life before. So to have this limited amount of time to try and get what's in front of me, I am, I've am i always been very, very meticulous in get, erasing a lot and getting every line exactly where I want it. And with this, I just had to go. This month, the theme is Marvel Infinity War. So you're gonna have all kinds of superheroes out there. I'm not sure yet which location I'm gonna be at. I will probably be doing Black Widow. But if you follow Mistress Bones Portrait Playhouse on Facebook, you can keep up with all of their events. And if you're in Chicagoland, if you draw, if you're a cosplayer, come out. You know, they, they do schedule the models ahead of time. So if you're interested in modeling for them, contact them. They'll be happy to explain how the process works, get you into the rotation. It's a great time. I totally recommend it. If you're an artist, if you want to be an artist, if you just want to practice drawing people who are standing there for you to draw them, come out, get a drink, give it a shot. It is, it is free. Uh, there are donations taken to keep up the supplies that they will share with the artists that they keep on hand. And also it does go to the mod, some of it does go to the models. And I can add that experience to my performance of Unvarnished. More coming soon. Until next time, bye-bye.